right, hello, lovely artists. As you can see, I've got a tray of the beautiful papers that we painted last week. I cut some of them into shapes for you, and some I left pretty big. These are the ones that we use the scraper for, um, the squeegee, it's called, and we're gonna cut these pages up. So these pieces, we're just gonna leave like they are, and we're gonna glue them down. We're going to do something now, um, based on the paintings of Mercedes Pardo. And we're gonna create a collage. That's a word we haven't talked about yet. Collage means when you glue paper to paper. Instead of drawing or painting, you're using shapes and paper and you're kind of gluing them together. So first thing I'm gonna do, I get to choose what color paper I want for my background. And I decided already, I'm gonna go with purple. Um, and we're gonna share this tray of paper. So I'm gonna slide it off, put it in the middle of the table where everybody can reach it. And then I'm gonna start thinking about arranging my collage. Do you know what arrange means? It means to move things around till we get them exactly where we want them. So you might pick some beautiful shapes. We've got circles. This is called the negative space. I cut a circle out of it, but what's left is really cool. The negative space is the circle that's left. Um, oh, wow. So I'm gonna lay out, I don't wanna take too many circles because we don't have that many. So let's say you can take one or two circles. And I'm gonna arrange these pieces on my paper. Now, I've got, got a few on here now. Ooh, I like that together. I like the negative space it leaves between the pieces. Um, I now can cut an organic shape from one of these beautiful papers. And we talked about how organic shapes are shapes that don't have names like a triangle or a rectangle. They're not geometric. And they're kind of natural looking shapes and they can be anything. So you can't really get an organic shape wrong. I'm gonna cut in and I'm gonna start a line. I can jiggle jaggle around. When you cut, hold your hand and your scissors and the scissors should be hungry. They should have their mouths open and cut and then open again and cut and you can keep wiggling around. You could do a zigzag, whatever you like, but you're gonna come back to the end of that line. Boop, look at that beautiful organic shape. And I'm gonna use that organic shape somewhere. I wonder what your organic shape is going to look like. You know, I feel like this purple doesn't stand out on the purple very much, so I'm gonna trade it for a green. Oh yeah, I am gonna use some purple though. There, I'm gonna move it around till I get it exactly like I like it. And then I'm gonna glue it down, okay? Now, glue, we haven't used glue yet in here. The way you use glue is first, you have to open the bottle. So you hold this wheel Hold it still and hold the bottle. You don't want to twist that or all the glue will pour out. You hold the wheel and then you twist this part until that white part disappeared. So check it out. There's a little white tip. And when I twist it, it disappears. And then I can listen to hear it breathing. Can you hear that? Once I hear it breathing, I know it's ready to go. Now, I have to put the glue on the back of my piece of paper. So I'm gonna turn it over. I turn my glue over because glue works with gravity. Everything will fall. So I'm waiting for it. And then I'm gonna squeeze lightly one dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, five dots, six dots, seven dots. I'm just gonna dot around the outside of my shape. A couple dots here and there. Do you see those dots? No puddles of glue. Puddles of glue, ooh, just a drop. So here we go. I'm gonna press it down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. Turn my bottle 
upside down and go. You can also do this. You can do a very skinny line around the outside of the edge. I barely squeezed and I pulled my bottle in a circle. Okay. So dots are very thin lines. Now I'm gonna keep moving. We're gonna try to get every one of our pieces glued on the paper today. See how I did a line in the same shape as the organic shape? You can use dots or you can use lines. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. And when I'm all finished, I'm gonna be finished for the day, but I have two things I need to do. There will be rags on every table. If I drop my glue, be sure that you pick it right back up so it doesn't spill. <clears throat> At the end of class, we're going to close the glues nice and tight so that white part pops back out, but you also need to take the rag and twist the bottle as your fingers pinch to get any glue off the top. That makes the glues keep working. If we don't do that, they won't work for the next group of people. The other last thing, I bet you know what it is, is to write my name. Okay, that's it. Next week, we'll come back and add some lines.